Here we're asked to determine how many microliters of phenarogram should be given to a patient who weighs 45 pounds. We're going to solve this problem using dimensional analysis. And I'd like for you to look at the information given in the problem, such as the dosing, the concentration. Look at that information as conversion factors. I'll solve the problem using dimensional analysis. And I'll use dimensional analysis in a very step-by-step -step fashion. First, let's convert the weight of the patient from pounds to kilograms. The conversion factor for pounds to kilograms is 1 kilogram per 2.2 pounds. The pounds cancel, and you're left with the unit of kilograms in your answer. At this point, we take our answer of 20.5 kilograms and we use the 0.5 milligrams of drug per kilogram of body weight to determine how many milligrams of drug should be administered. So 0.5 milligrams per kilogram is used as a conversion factor in the step. Once we determine the number of milligrams of drug, we need to determine the milliliters of solution that needs to be administered. We'll look at the 25 milligrams of drug per milliliter of solution as a conversion factor also. And notice the 25 milligrams of drug per milliliter is reciprocated. And that's so we could cancel out the units of milligrams of drug. The answer in this step is 0.4 milliliters. But the question asks, how many microliters should be administered? Our final conversion is to convert 0.4 milliliters to microliters. And there's 1,000 microliters in each milliliter. So the final answer is 400 microliters. And to give you a sense of how small 400 microliters is, or 0.4 milliliters, Here's an image of a syringe that could be used to administer this drug. The scale on this syringe goes from 0 to 1 milliliter. So 0.4 milliliters would be right here, which is equivalent to 400 microliters, which is a very small amount. Here's another problem where we need to calculate the amount of drug for a patient. In this case, the patient weighs 75 pounds and the drug is morphine. The dosing is 0 0.05 milligrams per kilogram of body weight. And the concentration of drug in the solution is 8 milligrams per milliliters of solution. So we follow the same pattern or the same steps, converting 75 pounds to kilograms. You get 34.1 kilograms then convert the 34.1 kilograms to milligrams of drug. So that's 1.7 milligrams of drug for the patient, which is not a lot of drug. Then we need to determine the volume of solution this drug is contained in, and we use the 8 milligrams of drug per milliliters of solution to do that, and again we need to reciprocate that to get 0.213 milliliters of drug. Converting 0.213 milliliters to microliters, we get 213 microliters.